So here's the fastest ARM processor in the world for laptop business right here. So hi, so who are you? My name's Eric Greenman, and I work on the Windows on Snapdragon team. And this is a very special ARM processor, right? It is indeed. It is our first generation dedicated compute platform processor. It will be out and available in PCs in the fourth quarter of this year, starting approximately in October or November of 2019. But it's right here. It's in the laptop. It's this a real in, prototype. Absolutely. This is a reference design product. It's obviously not being sold just yet, but it is running the current processor. The Which is somewhere in here. It is absolutely inside. It's not too hot. It is not too hot. So why can't you just ship it now? Why do you have to wait for Q4? <laughs> because the, the companies that are ultimately going to build this product are the companies that will be taking in the processor when it's available for general sale. So this is the first product, this 8CX, isn't yet being shipped to the OEMs for sale. So it'll start shipping later this year in 2019. So um, this is the first time in the industry that somebody designed specifically for the laptop market. It's not just an overclocked smartphone chipset. No, it's not. Which is also cool. The 835 and the 850s were amazing, right? They were the first steps in the process, but over the 18-month period from when we delivered the first 835, which was in May of 2018, to when we delivered the first generation, or the second generation product, which was the 850, in October of 2018, to the point where we deliver this product in October of 2019, in that 18-month period, we will have gone through three generations of processors, to deliver the most powerful ARM-based Windows compute processor ever available on the PC market. So what's the official jump in performance from 850 to 8CX? So a product like this, it's from the 8CX, will have a number of important performance improvements. So for example, what we have displaying here, the 850 as a product isn't designed to run multiple monitors. Here I'm running two 4K monitors, as well as the on the monitor on the screen of the PC itself. Which is maybe a full HD? It is indeed a full HD monitor. Full HD plus 4K plus 4K. Exactly right. The previous didn't do that. Previously the 850 did not support that. Maybe only one 4K. Right. One one external monitor, not multiple monitors. So there's uh, two times uh, display port output, basically? Correct. These are both from USB-C. 4K 60 each? Yep. So exactly right. that's like a dual 4K 60. Yeah, Correct. Which is a lot. This product also will support both 4G and 5G when it's available later this year. This product is also our first generation product designed to support enterprise applications. So things like VMware, VPN, and the security solutions that are important for businesses. The 850 wasn't designed to do that. Yep. What, what does that mean to support that? So, so to support enterprise means that this product is designed to meet the needs of business and enterprise users. So multiple monitors, solutions that enterprises that are you know with software that are important to an enterprise, like VMware for virtual sessions, like the security solutions that enterprises use that consumers do not. So this is the first generation platform that's designed to do that. So. Um, this is ready for big business, basically. It is. It will also meet the needs of consumers, and depending upon what the OEMs want to produce, and how they want to go about bringing those products to market, what customers they want to serve, consumers versus business customers, you'll see different configurations of this product in the market. So, uh, what is the performance jump from 850 to this one? The, like, do you say percentages? We don't at this point because we're still talking about a product that's in reference design and isn't in final silicon. You don't run benchmarks. We do, in fact, run benchmarks. So, as an example, the 850 is designed to compete against an Intel M series processor, right? So, an yeah. M3 or an M5. This product, when it ships, our expectation is that we'll be competitive with an Intel i series. Uh, or sorry, an Intel U series processor, and in, in the form of a U3 or an i3 or an i5. So a substantial increase in performance. But the most important thing, in, you know, in addition to the increase in performance, is going to be the increase, uh, the increase in battery life that's associated with this. So the product, the 850, is capable of running 20 hours continuously on a single charge. This product is capable of running 25 hours on a single charge. In so low it's even longer battery life? Even longer battery life, huh. because this is even more efficient than the previous generation. Is this 7 nanometers? Yes. 
and the previous is 10 nanometers. Correct. That's a big deal, right? That is a big deal. The other big difference between these products is that the um, the I, the uh, sorry the 850 product, which is over on the other side, like yeah. I said, is meant to predominantly to be a consumer product, yeah. and it is part of the original 800 series roadmap, right for mobile phones, right? It's based yeah. on the 845. This is the first generation product that will be where our roadmap forks. This is our first dedicated compute-only solution for Windows on ARM. It was rumored to be called uh, Snapdragon 1000. Why is it 8CX? The changing in branding as it relates to that, the internal names that we have previously discussed weren't going to be the final product or brand name of the product. When we finally went through the process, we decided to talk about 8CX, 8 series product, Compute Extreme is what the C and the X stand for. So it's still the 8 series product, like the 835, 850? Except the difference is that the 835 and 850 were derivative chips from mobile phone processors. The 8CX is its own branch on the roadmap, a separate product being built to support this. It's very awesome. I just thought Snapdragon 1000 sounded cool, but that was all the rumor <laughs> right. sites. You that know? was just on the rumor site. And I love those rumor sites, it was very exciting, and it's exciting to see that it's real. And the shape is special, it's like more rectangular than chips are usually, or not? No, no, that's, I mean, it's just a, that's just a design spec of what it looks like. And uh, it's got a crazy fast GPU. Right, so all of the things that are normally needed inside of a PC, a CPU, a GPU, in our case also the importance of a cellular modem, all integrated onto one chip. There's an 855 coming out, right? There is an 855, that's but that's... seven nanometers. But, but that's not part of the compute it is, platforms. It's, it's completely separate. It's not the same architecture of the chip. It's not it's meant not to be part... It's not, 855. it's not meant to be part of the compute products. It's a right. separate product for the mobile world and for phones. Nice. So, uh, this is going to be the form factor laptops. Well... This is a reference design laptop. Yeah. What the ulti what the laptops ultimately look like when they come from OEMs, whoever chooses to deliver it, will be up to the OEM themselves. So if uh, over on the other side where I've got a Lenovo product, their product, very thin, sleek, looks one way. The product that they have uh, elsewhere here in the booth that's from Samsung looks very different. Also thin and sleek, just a different form factor developed by another OEM. So let's check the 850 around here. Sure. Uh, we can jump in, in there, if you don't mind, uh, we jump in there. So here's the 850 Lenovo. It's, right. it's, um, I think it's probably the, the most beautiful ARM laptop in the world right now. Yep. Uh, it's really beautiful. Oh, it's amazing. We want to oh, make sure we'll leave that uh, yeah. in there only because yeah. the demo that we're running okay. actually up here on screen uh, it shows. The, right. So this shows the difference in the thermal properties between these units. So you can see how hot a product that uses traditional x86 architecture is versus something that's using the ARM architecture. So this is an Qualcomm Intel tech. and a Dell here? Right. A Lenovo with an ARM? This is a Lenovo with the, Qual with the Qualcomm Snapdragon product in it. So it's really beautiful, it's really nice. Uh, so you got the Lenovo partnership going on? Yep. <laughs> I think it would be awesome if there was an 8CX ThinkPad. I love those ThinkPads. <laughs> we think that would be awesome too, but that's ultimately up to up the to guys them, right? at Lenovo. Yep. Is a, who knows? We'll yep. see. Because we'll the ThinkPads are great and it's enterprise, you know, a hard, uh, everything. What you're ultimately going to see is more and more of the OEMs getting into this business, so I think there's going to be a lot of innovation and a lot of new products that come to market as we move through 19. You sh you're talking with everybody. You're talking with, you have Samsung? Have Samsung, Samsung. There's a Samsung product over a little good. further down. Uh, how far is it down there? Uh, yeah. yeah, it's over on the ground. Uh, let's let's just walk over one second. Oh. You have it? Yeah, you have the chip, right? I do have yeah. the chip right here. Yeah. Uh, there's so many different Qualcomm yeah. applications available today. So that's a different product. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the Galaxy Book. That's the Galaxy Book 2, which Samsung is now delivering. It's available for sale now. Nice. 
Now, the difference between this product and the Lenovo, yeah. the Lenovo product is a convertible, right? Yeah. So it has a hinge that folds over. Yeah. The Samsung Galaxy book, it's a detachable, right? It's both a tablet as well as uh, having a separate keyboard. Nice. And uh, right here, so um, so you have all the contacts in the industry, all the big players, they're all talking with you right now? We are. Talking to all of the OEMs, you bet. Samsung, Lenovo, um, I, I bet HP, Dell, everybody. We have relationships with all of the major OEMs, as well as OEMs outside of the U.S. that are looking at and interested in the category. So we're talking to lots of companies about the product. So this is going to be big. This, this you're going full in. We this. are. We absolutely are. You're serious are. about the laptop market? We are, because it's really, it's an extension of something now that we already do. The idea of a mobile product, a mobile compute product, is something that Qualcomm's been doing for decades, right? All of the smartphones that we carry all feature, you know, to a great number of them obviously feature Qualcomm chips. Our, the ability of our processors to now do more and powering compute platforms like the ones we're showing here is one of the reasons that we think it's going to make a real big difference in the mobile PC market. I think you're really realizing the potential of your technology because smartphones are amazing, but it's really hard to do everything in this size of a display. Right. You need a bigger display, you need multiple windows, you need right. to do productivity, right? Right. It's like anything else, right? It's the appropriate tool for the appropriate job. I wouldn't want to try to develop a PowerPoint presentation on my smartphone, yeah. but I certainly would do it, obviously, on my PC. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't necessarily want to, you know, make every telephone call that I have on my PC, but that's obviously something that my mobile phone is perfect for. Right.